Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to Victoria 2. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, and we're looking at quite a large Tukalor Empire. Actually, that's not too bad. Since last time we got parts of the Sahara here, let's see, culture map mode. We got more Tareg, which is an accepted culture here in the Tukalor Empire, which is really good. So we should probably take out French Algeria too someday. And they have Berber there, but Tareg is actually an accepted culture here. Regardless, a couple comments to go through. First of all, someone recommends we get railroads. Yes, as soon as we're done with this one, as much as I want social science, it takes a lot of research points to get to that. And actually, 20% of our population can read, which is great. But once we get those extra research points, we're going to go ahead and grab experimental railroads. We actually probably will get hot blast, and we'll probably get at least a basic level for all this, as well as probably a military staff system, because, and this is important, we want to get the Dark Continent, which is the last technology, or invention really, it's an invention, that will allow us to colonize and compete with other great powers. So it is before 1890, so we get minus 60% chance to get this in investment, this invention unlocked. So we have to get other things unlocked. We have biologism, we need to get military logistics, and we need steel steamers. So we've got quite a few things to get before 1890. But to let you all know about that. Uh, other comments include make a pan-African nation. We're trying that right now. As well as get all the social reforms, pretty much get all the reforms done. Play Japan maybe someday. I, I haven't played Japan in HPM, so we'll see what happens. Regardless, for some reason, I wanted to go to war with Guatemala. So we're at war with Guatemala. And then we'll probably go back to war with people in Africa, Asia. What are other great places we can invade? Also, we have 24.75 uh, infamy, which is not very good. Because I think there's another place here that wanted to become part of a corp place. I mean, we have part of Guinea done. Let's see. What is it? Timbo is now... A core of ours, which is awesome. So that's actually really good. Also, we can expand the naval base here. We don't have a lot of money because I've been trying to expand naval bases quite a bit all over the place. But I did see over here in Haiti, or Tucolor Hispaniola, part of our population there is Fulba, and that is one of our core cultures. So, actually, that is our primary culture. We are migrating to new places all across the world. And before we let time go on, let's take a good look at national focuses. We got some bureaucrats coming up here. Actually, that's not too bad. 11% full up there. That's not, that's not bad. Up here is 35. 30.5%. 100% for capitalists here, which is not too bad either. Capital. Do we have any capitalists here? Not really too much, no. But in time, they will come. I'm doing better on bureaucrats there. Over here, we got... Well, we're working on this potato... Oh, potato blight. That's actually not too bad. Yeah, push them out. Push them out so they can go to other places. Especially into the new world. Uh, we're doing well down there. And Uruguay? How are we doing down here in Uruguay? Well, we could probably... Ooh. 18% of the population in Colonia is Qua. And 10% are Fulba. Oh, man. <laughs> we are colonizing Uruguay, basically. Oh, my goodness. That is that is just awesome. And we also have this up here. I wonder if we can build a Panama Canal, though. Afro-Latino, Fulba... Oh, we have 5% British there? Wow. Actually, are we assimilating anybody? Basque? Bantoid? Afro-Latino? And last time we did get rid of slavery, so we finally did do that, so. Slowly progressing, trying to do better and better and better. So it doesn't look like we're trying to assimilate anyone else here. Actually, how about overall? Because I threw up, like, off-screen, I do check to see if people are assimilating. And we do get a small percentage of people that do assimilate. Now, it's very... Oh, hold on, we just saw someone. There we go. Yoruba. They assimilate to Hausa. So that's great. So we have, like, a lot of African cultures, of course. And... Once they move over here and we have enough population and there's enough correct modifiers, we can assimilate some of our unaccepted African cultures to become, like, accepted or primary cultures. Hey, thank you, Guatemala. Thank you. And also, I want to go with Guatemala because this is one of the few nations in Central America, or in the Americas, that is not sphered by the U.S. yet, so. That's really one of the reasons why. And besides, who doesn't want wood? We love wood. Wow, there's a lot of socialists down here. But that was another comment. Maybe make a socialist Wakanda. Let's see what happens, maybe. Not, I'm not opposed to it. Hey, but kill the ships. Leave the ships in the water for now. The okay, Germany. Well, I guess that does make sense. The pro proletarians have nothing to lose but their chains. Good luck with that. Let's see. Yeah, we got to save our diplo points for now. But man, we've been we've been doing pretty darn well. But yeah, they have a bit too much infamy. A little bit too much, especially when we get other events. Actually, off screen, I remember. Uh, I could not, there was an event for me to start integrating one of our provinces, but I told him no, just because we would be over 25 infamy, and that's a no-no, so, yeah, basically we got, if we want to do anything else, we just gotta save scum more, 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 more. It's unfortunate, but we have to do it, say, say, Axe J? 
Sayashe. I'm going to pronounce that way. I have no idea. So, the moral resurgence as and the moral fiber of our nation is thus degenerated now to the point where all the evils that that are wont to plague a society are allowed free to reign in Roman hours. What we need, what we desperately must have, is a moral resurgence in the Tuculan Empire. We must return to the old values, to the foundation, to the things that once made our country great. A preacher in one of the, our states has started a small but locally potent organization dedicated to what it claims to be a much needed moral restoration of the Tuculan Empire. No doubt this organization is piggybacking on the ruling party's already established moralist policies, and on account of that, the ruling party could probably use this organization as a vital local ally. Um, sure, why not? I mean, I still want more liberal support so we can get more reforms done, 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 done. But, actually, if we suppress people, that might be good. Oh yeah, we want to do this one too, but we don't have the infamy for this. That's five infamy. We cannot do that. We can still sign the Geneva Convention, but man. Explore the Congo. Oh, we need to own all those places. I don't think we can actually own all those places. I'd love to get the Congo, but... Hmm. African farms and mines. We need investment banks. We'll get there. Uh, Senegal, Guinea Bissau borders. We need to be at peace. Oh, we can do that one too. Oh, yeah. Maybe abolish the sound dues. Let's see what happens. Movements. Maximum. I'm, so, if you suppress these places, uh, suppress the movement would cost some points and make the movement more likely to be radical in the future. So, if they want suffrage, common schools. Let's definitely do that stuff just because I don't, I don't want these guys to become more radical. I want the social reforms to be more radical, though. That, that's something that we really want. Good, less conservative support, that's good. We gotta get more reforms done, and look, wow, people are really socialist here. I'm quite liberal, I'm quite conservative. They're really split between a lot of things. Thank you, Guatemala. There you go. So I'm not sure how this is gonna work. The Senegal Bissau a dispute arose with another country over colonial borders in Senegal and Guinea Bissau. Citizens poured and live in Ziguinchor province, according to the principles of effective occupation established in the Conference of Berlin, the territory belongs to us, but has been under the rule of another nation for a long time, and thus a dispute arose. Our diplomats are trying to organize an exchange, Gabu for Ziguinchor, or at least an indem indemnity in exchange for the province. We now just need to propose a steal to, to our good neighbors. If we don't have the territory to exchange, we'll have to pay 200,000 pounds for our purchases up front or in in installments if the deal proceeds. You know, if you have. If you will pay if the event has fired, has purchased in its name. Well, let's get some more money first. I'd, uh, hopefully, we get some more territory. But we'll see what happens. Let's go ahead and cut down our budget. Because we didn't actually have to spend that much. Wow, our Navy investment is not very high. <clears throat> that is fine. I'll leave you guys here because you guys are looking pretty good as is. So, you can build up the naval base. But actually, what's a 21 is not very good. 40, 65. God dang. Guatemala City, you're looking pretty nice here. So, you guys come on back down to. I'm just going to hang out there for now. I start raking in a lot more money real quick. So maybe we can purchase. Oh! Whoa! Alright then! And now I get found out, well, obviously we won't stay here then. We're actually trying to build expander factories. Guatemala. Ooh, that's not good. Ooh, there's a lot of craftsmen. Let's open it. Let's see what happens. Maybe it's good, maybe it's not good. Let's see what happens. Yeah, obviously we get found out. I've got to do it off screen just because it's not looking very good right now. Hey, if Algeria is not here though, or if we take out. They might actually break free here, too. How's... No, the France is... Proper is doing okay, but... Alright. And also, Egypt is falling apart, too, with reactionaries. So, hey, as long as they don't come over here, I'm okay with that. You don't show up here, we'll be okay. France, we did go to war with them last time, just because Germany said, nah. Now nah, we want our territory back. That's a really ugly Romania still, but whatever. Oh, hello. Oh, boy. Okay, so killing each other. Well, I guess I'll see you in just a little bit. Alright, everyone, here we are. We have our war justification goal on Algeria. But unfortunately, the Germans have decided to break our alliance. Big sadness, and they're number two in industrial power. Wow. Regardless, let's go ahead and do this purchase because it's going to look pretty good. Let's see. Actually, let's do the area first. It is Gabu, Bissau, Ziguinchor, Zinchor, whatever it is. And we're going to lose a lot of money. Alright, cool. Let's see what happens. And we got this province. Nice. Now they can keep this. They can keep that. But what I really, what we really wanted was this. We got more fish and about 100,000 more people under us. And look at that money now. Look at that. Wow. So occasionally we didn't have the 200,000 pounds. So we're going to lose some more money. Let's go to war. I'm not too worried about Algeria. Seeing as a savage protectorate. Yeah. I love that. Protectorates. Cool. So I'm not even going to raise up our conscription level. Just because, and I broke up these two armies together, just so we can 
get more stuff under here. Actually, you guys up here too, so that wouldn't be too bad. Hopefully, no one intervenes. Hopefully, France doesn't intervene, but they have no military score, and they're not really bothered by <laughs> militant socialists taking out other parts of Algeria. But hey, you know what? That's their problem. We've got secularization for more plurality. Very cool. As we're trying to make more and more money. We need so much money. And the Egyptians are still suffering down there. Ooh, Chrissy the Pharaohs. How it started, we do not know. But what we do know is that once was a rumor has now become public wisdom. The rumor that has grown from breeze to storm is that a curse befalls anyone who t disturbs the tomb of the Pharaoh in the Valley of the Kings. And some even claim that our excavation team threatens to draw down the curse of all on the Tukular Empire. It seems, or it is a historical, hysterical rumor, of course, but the hysteria is there nonetheless. Oh, crud. Okay, Ottoman Empire, what did you do here? Oh, come on, you ally with those guys? Ottomans, would you like an increase in relations? Because we don't have any allies right now. And Austrians and the Italians are killing each other, which is fine with me, but... Mm, that's going to take a while to do this. That's going to really hurt our army. Whatever. Bashar, please, thank you. Now, this is going to be actually really awesome. This is actually one of the gr greatest gifts we've gotten so far in this campaign. Because this will connect our Moroccan territories to the rest of our country, which is awesome. Oh, look at that. They are maxed out. Cuba, oh, they're closed. No, that's not good. That's going to piss a lot of people off. But that's okay for now. Because we're still making plenty of money, but we still need that, so... Oh, they just dropped again. Because we haven't paid off our debt to the Portuguese. And that's okay. Good, let's quickly get this guy down. Oh, he actually showed up! Look at that! He actually showed up! Big Uig. Oh. Anyone done yet? Almost, almost. There you go. Two, one. I'm going to send you guys over here. I'm going to send you guys back down south. Because it's looking pretty gosh darn bad down here. God, who knew trying to conquer the desert was so bad? Nice. 21.4. Just great. Um, whoa. The Sockelins? Oh, uh, the UK is backing the Aquatic... Wait, they want the Sokolins. Ooh. They want the Sokolins. Modest and Swalkin, if you want to read about this, go right ahead, but whatever. Things happen down there. I got enough money now. Alright, so you guys are heading down south. You guys are going to be heading over here, even though, good lord, it's so bad. This is destroying our army. So, Alright, we'll build up some more of our army, too. And build up more naval bases, too, while we're at it. If that's the case, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, well, I don't want these people to be pissed off too much. Go and open the factory, that's fine. And Wardy? Yeah, we gotta make sure we got enough score for naval bases. Yeah, good. Naval bases cost a lot of money. Alright, well, the British are definitely doing stuff. And we got that one too. Nice. Do we have another army here? Uh, where are you guys headed to? Nikki, maybe? You can come all down to Nikki, that's fine. There we go. There we go, that's better. That's much better. Okay, it still sucks down here, though. Oh, I have two people here. Uh, let's see, you know what, at this point, just slash them together. Smash them together. Five, let's just get rid of, like, two of these armies, and we'll get a rebuild. That's fine. Get rid of you, and then... Five, one, five, let's get rid of one of you. There you go. So now we're all unified. That's awesome. That's really, really awesome. Ooh, let's go over here. Agadir. That's a colonial province. That's still a colonial province. Uh, how about state provinces? How about over here? Do you need a bigger naval base? We are working on that. We are not working on that. There you go as well. More naval bases, please. Alright, so you guys are going to okay. You're going to come down there. You guys are... Well, actually, what are you... You guys are headed down there. You guys are headed over there. You guys will be headed down here. Because we need, let's see, two, one, two. So we're going to go with two, one. Well, technically we have two, one, and there you go. Not bad. Pretty good. Pretty good. All right. Hey, we're fifth in the row for prestige. Nice. Very nice. Uh, the Dutch. Oh, communist rebel organization gain. Oh, look at Ottoman Sudan. You know what? Because they're cut off. They can't do anything about this, maybe. I mean, they could go, just go through here, but... Could Sudan actually rebel? Or anything else? Maybe. That'd actually be pretty good for us, probably. So we're both over here. You guys are hanging out. Do we have any places we could... 
grab some more infantry from maybe? Maybe not, maybe? Cool. What do we want next? Oh god, the UK's down here too. Oh good lord, no. no don't do that, it's fine. No. We're still technically a colony. And so you guys down here. Oh, they're at war with Hmm. Metabale. Okay, well whatever. Took a little Bolivia, of course. Very nice. Oh, you guys have any reactions? Oh, now America's finally gotten to these guys, too. That kind of sucks. Uh, let's see. America's pretty much, or the UK's done pretty much all the sphering coring. I don't want to get involved with the Venezuelans as well as Argentinians. They're not that tough. But, uh, I don't want to deal with them. Chile. Uh, they're also all with Brazil. Well. Oh, let's see. I want to get to these guys, but they don't have a lot of Beodin culture. That's really why I would like them. Omans and the British Sphere. The UAE. They are Beodin. Hey, look at that. They're allied with basically Yemen. Bahrain. The Ottoman Empire has a lot of influence in them. That would be cutting it pretty darn close. What if we tried that and lowered their influence? They're friendly, friendly. Ooh, that might that that's gonna be cutting it really, really, really close. But that's a good source of oil, maybe. If we went to war with them, they are civilized. Yeah, this will take a while to do. Actually, 154 is not too bad. So we'll see what happens. Actually, we'll send you guys over probably. Ooh, anyone else we want to send over? Any other ships? We we should probably make another navy actually. You guys are not looking great. Oh, there's only that many guys out there anyway, so it's fine, whatever. You guys do that. You guys do that. There you go. Anywhere we need more naval bases, actually. Well, well I guess I'll see you guys in just a little bit again. Alright, everyone, and we are back now. We have a established protector at Cassis Bella against Tigre. Not the UAE. What's going on, Mr. Mokalever? Well, I did try to go to war with them, but unfortunately, every time I tried it, they eventually got up into the sphere of the UK, and I don't want to piss off the UK just yet, so I figured, you know what, either we take out part of modern-day Ethiopia, or we go to war with Colombia, because they're no longer in the sphere as well. But I decided on Ethiopia, because first of all, it's in Egypt. Egypt, it's in Africa, not Egypt. It's close to Af Egypt. They're still in Africa. And secondly, that gives us more access to other Ethiopian places like Gondar, Harar, Maybe even Shiwa before the Brits can get over here because they're doing, they're doing a lot around here, and I don't like what they're doing. Also, Germany is at war with a bunch of different people. Let's see, acquisition of Dutch Ha'il, ha and second li French liberation of Alsace Lothringen, in which eh, they're pretty equally matched. Even though it looks like, oh, they want to conquer Lower Silesia. So we'll see what happens around here. This is going to be kind of interesting to see what happens. Regardless, let's go and go to war. I've already raised up our level a little bit. They have no military, so I'm not really too concerned about this. Hopefully no one gets involved. Hopefully no one does. I'm going to send you guys all the way down to Asaita. I'll send you guys to Karen. Oh god, Karen. Also, off screen, we've, I've done a lot of technology. I just kind of let time went, went going by. So I've done some military stuff. I've got the military staff systems. Uh, we still need to do command principle. We're doing the next level of naval bases in preparation for 1890. I also have gotten... Actually, this is all pretty much the same stuff. I've also gotten... What else? None of this stuff here. And actually, I've got the first level of piston engines, steam engines, of course. I guess I did mechanical production because it was so cheap to do. You might as well do them. Hot blast processes. We got experimental railroads, so we've been working on some railroads. And I haven't done inorganic chemistry yet, which we should, we should probably do as well. So, but we should do a lot of things really. So we actually do have some railroads around here. Look at that. Zero percent. Zero percent. Zero percent. Oh, whoops. Uh, let's see. Actually, can we actually see railroads? So we got some railroads. Well, starting to be expanded. In which, what we, what, do we need, what do we need? Cement. We need a lot of cement. But we do have some capitalists up here, too. Ooh, we can invest some money. Arms workshop. Yes, please. Building some roads. We have some money. And, yeah. It's, it's going all right. Not too bad, actually. Love it. For the love of God, please don't let anyone come into the war against us, though. If we need cement, I might consider... What do we need to have for a cement factory? Cement. Well, we have no cement factory. That's probably, probably a problem. <laughs> Let's see, cement. I don't mind buying some more cement. We did get some wood, especially in Guatemala, and then we're building up a lumber or sawmill in Guatemala, just because it makes sense to put it there. Let's see, cement. Cement. Use a uh, touch more. Just a touch. 
And also, there was another comment saying that if you get Africa, or not Africa, Egypt under you, then you can get an event to annex them. I'm just waiting for these guys to like, blow these guys up, so. Uh, France? Sure. Why not? Ooh, furniture factory. Nice. Industrial furniture production. Can we build up factories here in Guatemala? Uh, we can get a steel mill, but we have no coal. And where we do have steel, or iron actually, that's in colonial provinces that we can't really touch. Which really sucks. Fertilizer, textiles. We got the clothes here. Furniture would not be bad, because we have a sawmill, so let's go build that there. Uh, let's go look at this. How are you guys doing over here? Uh, I could build some railroads there too. It is in a colonial province, so okay, why not? Get as many roads as possible. How's the war going with these guys? Minus, oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, they've killed off a lot of guys already. Germany, would you like an alliance? Would you like an alliance, sir? No, they would not. They're currently in war. I'm currently in a war, so... Makes sense why they don't want to do so. Unraveling reform. Uh, if you'd like to read about this, go right ahead. I mean, we can get rid of low minimum mi minimum wage, or minimal minimum wage, whatever we're on. I'm not going to do that yet. Yeah, no, I don't think that's going to be really great for us. So, And we have only 22 infamy, so that's not bad. Only 22! And for some reason, I don't know why the Dutch has Basra, but it is what it is. Oh, militant socials. Oh, yes. Yes, more militant socials. Oh, can they free Tripoli? Please free Tripoli. Oh, we can get a reform too. Yes, please. Also, I think I did ally you guys. Yeah, call ally we could, but now I'm good. I'm also do that. Let's see. UK, we still good relations. Um, hmm. Actually, how's America doing? Oh, they really don't like us. Why don't they like us? What is wrong with them? What is wrong with the Americans? Anyways. Oh, look at that. So, I did say we need to get some health care. Let's grab some health care. Even though they probably want more minimum wage. Hey, fully funded health care system. Nice. Very, very nice. Cool, cool, cool. And we're looking pretty good. We got plenty of money. Uh, tariffs are actually pretty low, too. Yes, if you need that, go right ahead. If you need a little bit more money to spend, that's fine. Oh, look at that. We got total sea drill, huh? Nice. Paternalism. Oh, less conservative support. Yeah, there's quite a bit of support for socialists. And even 5% communists. Ter oh. I don't like terrorist cells. I don't know about you guys, but I'm not a big fan of terrorist cells. Just saying. Also, calling discontent. We make no concessions to threats and violence. Absolutely right. Even though we might have taken them over before. Whatever. Oh. What's the UK doing? They're not worth... Oh, they actually allied Brazil. So we got the next level of bases, naval bases done, which is great. I'm going to go ahead and grab social science so we get even more educational efficiency and colonial migration. Even though there was a comment saying that we should probably invest more in this stuff, we absolutely should. Oh, I, I need to. We need to. Like, it... Ugh. Okay, the Karen. Very nice, very nice. Almost a quarter of our entire population can read. That's awesome. That's really, really awesome. I don't think there's any really good RGOs down here, but next up, I think next one we'll take out is probably these guys. Gondar. Ooh, War Exhaustion goes down. Nostalgic Romanticism. Cool, pretty cool. Let's see, population-wise, I mean, yeah, you guys, Gondar definitely takes a cake, but let's see, 135,000, 130,000, 300,000, yeah, definitely these guys first, because they have just more population. The Conference Ultimatum. The great powers of the world meeting during the Congo Conference, awarded the Congo to the International Association of the Congo, controlled by the Swedish ruler. They now demand that all agreed territory be passed under the Phil philanthropic organization, which includes some territory we currently control. Disobeying the will of the conference might anger the attract the anger of the great powers, while abiding their will might leave us in good graces. We lose literacy. We lose infamy. Oh, come on. We can't get the Congo? They have to come take it from us? Oh, I can't afford that. I just can't afford that. No, I want the Congo. Uh. Oh, actually, that's not too bad. Oh, that's, that's actually not... What? Okay, well, I mean... Oh, they're out uh, with the Germans. I don't want to piss off the Germans. Jesus Christ. They're, they're literally... They were literally fighting a three-front war against Belgium, France, and then Austria-Hungary. Austria so... That's actually not too bad. Good to know. I have to come, come kill Sweden later on, though. Yeah, that's a colonial. That's a naval base. Over here. Go and do that. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's why I don't want to spend a lot of money right now. And, oh god, it's going to take a while to do. Let's see. Explosives! Hey! Love explosives. And what do we have? Navy's organization. Long range fire tactic. Not bad, not bad. Just keep an eye on what these guys are doing. So, these guys... 
I don't know. They actually pieced out. They did not get up. Uh, yeah, they lost us, us, Lorraine. So that's not good for them. See, Germany, this is why you ally, ally us. You don't ally the Swedes. How are the Swedes going to help you? What rank are they? They are rank 13. So, yeah, okay, look at that. Carlos Spain is rank 10. And also, we should probably keep increasing our military strength. That's probably one of the key things we got to do. All right, so we got a lot of French people around here, whatever. That's fine. They deserve to be here, pretty much. We got two armies up in the north, which is pretty good. Keep a guy there, and let's build up another group. Actually, let's just do it like this. I want to recruit people that are closer to our actual region here. One, two, three, four. Uh, let's grab a horse. One. So that's five. So, and then two, one, two, three, four, five. There we go. Very nice. It costs a lot of money, but whatever. It's worth it. <sighs> Keep making up that education efficiency. Get that population. What's our population? Our population currently is what? Because we have a lot of provinces, of course. But our current population is only 53 million. God dang. That's a lot of, that's a lot of people. Keep making more babies, everyone. The babies are good. That sounds very weird to say. Oh, what is that? Oh, we have some difficult points too we can spend. Ottomans, you kind of like us actually. Uh, Bosch, Boschenwar. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Oh, Bolivia. Oh, no, 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 no. Of all places. Where do you have. Rebels? Um... Oh, look at that. Why not? Another colony? Why not? I don't see rebels here. I mean, there's rebels down here, but they're they're kind of standing still. So, particular schools, assimilation efforts in Mauritius areas and territories are progressing slower than they should reasonably have to. And one of the reasons is that the Maurice children are still educated in their native tongue. By enforcing compliance to a national curriculum, we can foster a new generation of children to identify more with a particular state. Ah, yeah, force assimilation. Ah, yeah. We're actually doing much better on entry. We're 12th in the world. It's obviously not great, but considering where we were for quite a while, I'll gladly accept that. Ooh, and we still have some more different points. I want to increase the relations with America just because they don't really like us that much. Why don't you like us, man? We're just conquering a lot of people. That's all. Let's take a look at a uh, America. J I mean, Japan. Oh, there. Oh, if you want to read about this, go right ahead. Never mind. No, 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 no. Research points are where it's at. Now, a little quarter of our population can read. As you can see, Afghanistan has been eaten up by the Russians. I'm not sure if that's a good idea or not, but let's see what happens. Keeps going up. Got too much infamy, really, just too much infamy. Militancy, it's fine, whatever. Research points, nice. 2.43%. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Alright, well, it should be done relatively soon ish. You know, some guy died, began to occupy some places. You'll be done here, and then I'm going to send you back up north, because that Zinder artillery probably replace you with an engineer. That'd probably be good. Oh, the Tokugawa victory. Nice. Shogunate. The Flying University, as she makes her way through the city, dodging shadows as they say the particular soldiers, the illuminated clock tower of the church seems to glare at her like a mean, infected yellow eye. She's already late, but class is still in session. An underground university is formed in Card. Hongena de Indias, providing higher education despite the ban of minority languages in academia. Shut it down. You must use our language. The Tukalor, very multicultural language. Cool, more liberal support. Awesome. Not much more, but hey, it's still more. Get rid of you, thank you. Come out to Hal Hal Aib, Halib. And let's invest some more in our shippies. Oh, we're still doing that there. Pretty good. And right there. Almost done with these guys. Almost done. And well, the French still kind of like us. If the French, also Hungarians, and Belgians can help take out the Germans, I mean, that's, that's not bad. Especially if you get the Russians on their side. Oof. Alright, you guys are taking a while. I could send these guys down here up take them out, but it takes so long to do. Oh, what's going on over here? Portugal. Portugal, what are you doing? Oh, do they have rebels maybe down here? Oh my... Oh! It's not even 1890 yet. How can the Germans come down here? They must have an event or something. Uh, yeah, it was pretty much during the Great War. We're going to have to 
pretty much dismantle empires and then take out other enemy countries and stuff like that. That's probably how we're going to get a lot of colonizing done. Another army. It's coming along. It's coming along. Mahiris and Bayuda. If you like to read about it, go right ahead. But it's always Dangola. It's, it's because they have Islamic fundamentalists. And we're still Islamic too, but still. They're going a bit crazy over there. The Empire in Crisis and the Ottoman Empire. Nice. Revolutionaries in D the Dominican Republic. Ooh. The Amazonas. Don't mind if we do. Maximum work hours? Let's suppress that. Sovereign movement. People don't need rights. Sign of the Geneva Convention. Secularized society. We do not do not have theocracy. Okay, well, we'll, we'll see what happens. Commodity boom down here. After 1890, at peace. Oh, trade goods. Oh, we get a lot more coffee. Oh, I should get some coffee. Hey, look at this. It's gonna be. <laughs> this is so. <laughs> Why is there just a little blue blob there? <laughs> oh, bribing officials. Egyptian officials in Alexandria refuse our Egyptian expedition to load vital excavation equipment in the Alexandria port. The Egyptian custom system is a Byzantine construction which is not impossible to penetrate without personal pull or money. We can put some pressure on the Egyptian government over the issue, but it might be best that the expedition simply bribes its way through Egypt. That's fine. Come on. Ooh, and UK, do you still like us? Uh, auto boys. There you go. Ooh, the Dutch aren't doing well down there. How are they losing? They, the enemies don't even have an army. Well, how are... Uh, what is going on in Ha'il? Ha how are you... Ooh. Okay. Very nice. And we've got the research. Not, not everything done yet, though. Now that's nice. Industry. More railroads, supply limits, c commerce. Freedom of trade might be actually really good to do. Organized factories, that would still be really good to do, but I think I want one more of these. Let's really check machine guns. Let's get army professionals, because that's actually probably the best one out of all of these army stuff. At least from what I've heard, so. Just what I've heard. Cool. And. Oh, we have rebels. Well, okay. Why not? And. Do you want to peace out, sir? I don't want to spend triple points, but okay, if we have to. Beautiful. Right, actually, that's not too bad. We get more military score, too. Uh, actually, you guys can probably come down here, then. But I will see you just in a little bit when we go to war with Gondar. Alright, everyone, and we are back. Right now, we have a war goal ready for Gondar. And the UK is still looking pretty intimidating. Uh, not much else has happened. We're doing interchangeable parts just because I want to get a lot of these inventions unlocked. But I think it would be pretty good at luxury clothes. We might get mechanical saws. You never know. So we'll do this one. And then, ooh, machine parts. That'd be nice. And maybe get some more railroad as well. And some inorganic chemistry. It's only 1888, actually. Is anything else unlocked? Uh, I don't think we did too much else here. Just pretty much stay in the course. No other reforms to my knowledge. We have Treacad Healthcare. But let's go and go to war. Now, we don't have a lot of morale, but they only have 6,000 soldiers. Also, there isn't another event between... Like, the UK and me, like, for the like the conference for Africa or whatever, they wanted Eretria. So, I, I saved my game before they did that. To see what happened. They they want these territories. I didn't give it to them. But then I reloaded my save and the event was gone. So, hopefully they don't come crashing into us. Because I don't really want to fight the UK, I'll be honest. Really not interested in fighting the UK. Also, I, instead, because we can't go to war with these guys, I decided to just try to sphere them. So... At least let me get them get them under us somehow, some way. And obviously the Egyptians still aren't feeling very good under all the rubbles down here, so. Let's see, we got another 30,000 stack. Uh, I didn't really need another navy, but I don't want to make too many navies with garbage ships, so yeah. Just in case, though, I'm going to put you guys like under Bofa, maybe perhaps. I'm going to make another army around here. Actually, you know what? I want to make the army that we're using in Ethiopia a little bit better. So take that off. What we need is 4 1 4 speed, an engineer. Alright, engineer right here. Very good. Just remind me, how about we come over here? Argentina's fully formed. We're doing pretty good, pretty well, I'd say. Still trying to get some more capitals. Oh, we saw this nation, or this thing down here. 20% bureaucrats, not bad. Actually, can I give this to Bolivia? Would we get any. Uh, infamy reduction? Dahomey, Gabu, no, it doesn't look like it. We could release a lot of people, though. Well, that kind of sucks. I can't return territory. What's the difference between a Dominion and a Satellite? 
minion satellite. Hmm. I, I don't know at the time of this recording, so. Anything else? Not really interesting. Or different, really. So. Cool. Incident in Antiochia? Lose prestige. Last position. Terrorism. Uh, just, just, just casual terrorism in this area down here. That's all. Casual terrorism. Look at that. Fulba. Yoruba. Attention. Just a big rate. Actually. We do have coal down here. Which is actually, we should probably capitalize on that. How's, uh... Anyone assimilating down here? No. Probably not. Platinian? North Andean? No current assimilation. Not a lot of assimilations going on, that's alright. Burkas, Ascaris, and Turaliers. I was born in a Tukula room. All my life I've dressed in Tukula clothes, been taught and spoken the language of the Tukula Empire. It should not surprise anyone that I'm willing to die for my country. A tradition of support for Tukula Empire and the Tukula rule has been taken hold in one of our colonies, and several natives have expressed support for ideas that have floated about the colonial office for some time of setting up native military reg regiments to help maintain order in our colonies. Fantastic idea, we should spare no effort in implementing. Not bad, pretty good more prestige. For like 30 years, my loyal subjects you serve your country best at home. I like the prestige, and less than seen stuff like that. Hey, look at that, beautiful. No one else is at war with us, so that's a good thing. Very nice, keep... Oh, we're really not making that much money. Attention to dissipate, good, and Dongola. Nice. Colonial progress, one of our colonies is reporting astounding successes in the development of local commercial ventures and businesses to the colonial office. According to the local governor, the primary reason seems to be ambitious land reform, undertaken in tandem with Tukular capitalists and industrialists. The colony is reportedly becoming more attractive to immigrants, and the report flex, reflects well on our industri industrialists as well. Ooh, Niger gets another life rating? Yes, please. What's costing us the most? Industrial subsidies are not that bad. Administration, education, of course, we don't have high tariffs at all. We might be able to cheat this a little bit more and get a little bit more money. And we might be able to get a little bit more, more money from the middle class. Oh, that's a bit too much. Hold on. That's a bit too much. Don't want to tax the living crud out of them. There you go. Oh, I thought that was another enemy. That's just rebels. Hey! Great! I have about 20.6 infamy? Not bad. Harar? Can I just... Oh, they are allied with Kaffa. Oh, Kaffa's down there. Well, let's take a look. Which one's bigger population? You guys have 224,000 versus these guys who have a little bit more. It's pretty close. If we took you guys out, actually, it's probably better to take these guys out. Actually, establish protectorate. Um, well, actually, it doesn't really matter. I would like to take these guys out because eventually we might be able to get this area under us. Wow, this is a giant mess of cultures. But... If we can take these guys out and then take out Sud, we might be able to link up with the guys over here. Also, like earlier, Sweden got these guys, so it's looking pretty ugly. It is what it is. There's nothing we can do about it. And we're still waiting for the Dark Continent, so. Hmm. They got a lot of meat and coffee. I love the coffee. They got coffee down here, too, though. And they're both just mountains, which really sucks to fight in. How about culture? Cultural-wise, what do we have? Anything that resembles us at all? Somali. Not. We're not really Somali here. Amhara, Oro, Luo, Kushik. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Well, since we get two provinces for one, and this, and we go to war with these guys soon, faster, that will limit the amount of imp or touchiness that the UK has with these guys as well. So, if that's the case, we can probably go ahead and lower the spending all the way to the bottom a little bit more. That's fine. Actually, I'm gonna raise up naval spending, maybe just a little bit. Nah, we don't need that. Hopefully, we don't get found out. Hey, factory throughput. Nice. Let's go and grab something else. Maybe, maybe some of this. Better railroads would probably be pretty good. Better... More digging cap is also very good as well. Mobilization size. Army plans. More artillery attack would not be bad. Let's grab some of this. It's only 4700 cost of time. Nice. Cannon. Oh, boy. Let's see. What is the... Oh, look at that. Pits threshing machine. Very nice. Ammunition factory is very good, too. Yeah, we can probably just go ahead and build them somewhere here. You want to build up a steel mill would be nice, but what is that? Explosives? Bullets? We need some fertilizer. Yeah. Ammunition? Sulfur? S steel? Mm. And we'll build one anyways, because we can. Wow. Our factory's looking pretty good. We got a lot of uh, employment here. It's pretty nice. Head on over. That'd be good. 
and increase relations with other people. Turkish dudes, hello. Americans, hello. And, oh, Honduras. Oh, and reform, nice. Well, you know what? If we can't directly annex you because you're in the sphere of the Americans, we might as well do this anyways, right? Hopefully we don't need these guys over there. You have not been doing too much, have you? You guys come over there. That's quite a distance. You might die in the water, but that's a risk I'm willing to take. Oh, we can't get low health care. Oh, we need to invent invented germ theory. We still have child labor, huh? All right, well, that does help education, so... If we have to... What is that? Is that like Montenegro? That might be. Oh, I called it. I knew it. Why would I ally you? I can't even reach you. Greece is still here. We might be able to beat some Greeks up, maybe. Hey, look at that. Nice. Oh, you actually... That's not good for us. Wait, so this is... Oh, it's a desert. I was like, it looks like mountainous territory. Oh, and I'll see you in just a little bit. All right, everyone, and we're back. So, uh, one thing that has happened off-screen is that this province of Tukalor Agadir has actually become a free state. We actually were able to make them no longer a colonial province, making our colonial power even better. But we are now ready to go to war with the evil doers of Harar, as well as Kaffa, which sucks that we have to wait to take them up. That's fine, whatever. Now we've spent some, a little bit more money on our military, which is fine. Establish a protectorate. Hopefully no one gets involved. For the love of God, please don't get anyone else involved. Let's see. 18 and 16. Go ahead and come down there. That's fine. Uh, just do that area first, whatever. This might be really bad, but whatever. Asaita. If they come over here, I'll just tr probably try to smash them up. That'd probably be good. There you go. Oh, Shartist rallies. If you'd like to read about this, go right ahead. Let them hold their little rally. More liberal. And landed voting. Sure, why not? Helps take away stuff from uh, socialists and conservatives, so that's fine with me. Alright, inorganic chemistry, let's go and do that. Germ theory, we need to get that one in anyway, so that'll be good. Alright guys, you've all shown up here. Let's see, I'm going to take you guys out first, because you're smaller. And it's easier to take these guys out because it's only a desert to, to defend against, so. It's 1888, of course. 11th in the world in terms of industry, that is not bad. So you'll be there on the second, you'll be there on the third. That's so dumb. They left anyways. Let's go smash these guys up. Tensions just fake. Great. Less tensions. Even better. Tensions in Kano? Of course not. Flashboy tension? Yeah, of course not. Ooh, Portugal has rebels, eh? Oh, we're losing money too. It doesn't look like rebels is there. How about down here? No, no rebels there either. Just in case, let's make sure we got enough friendliness with other people. America? Hello. Thank you. Nice. Barely lost anybody. We'll probably take this area out faster than they can take that area out, so that'll be good. Hussars? Ooh, very nice. Finally get some Hussars, if we really want them. Not getting high enough yet. Need it higher, 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 higher. Good. Oh, we should have asked for a piece out first. Whatever. Support. Actually, the faster we go to peace, though, the better. Thank you for applying. Let's go and lower the budget because it's costing us quite a bit. There you go. Uh, there you go. And where's a good place to put you guys? Actually, putting you on Deborah Tabor is actually not a bad idea. And what do we have here? We need at least one more artillery. Very nice. Oh, wait. It's still a slave state. Well, that's not good. Now we got to wait quite a few years to go to war with Kaffa. Fine. Whatever. Whatever. Until 94. That's, oh, look at that. We can, hey, we could have seen up here too. Look at that. Beautiful. Granite Estate. Awesome. And we're going to keep doing bureaucrats until they're done. But it's getting pretty close. Look at all this. Bombada, Fulba, Hausa, Bayoden. Yes, please. Actually, oh, Bulgaria. How's, uh, oh, do we have any good... Oh, I mean, they have steel down there. Steel. Precious goods. Nothing really important. I would really love this group though down here. Uh oh. And it's still. Oh, Honduras. Honduras. Hello, Honduras. Protected by America. Alright, let's take a look at this. Uh, actually, I want to increase my relations with. Yeah, increase my relations with the Americans, because why not? America's really not doing that great. I mean, they're fifth. That's not bad. And again, just let a 
Just let all the other people kill themselves uh, first, and then America will rise up in the world. Hey, we're above the Ottoman Empire. We're actually seventh, finally. It took quite a while for us to get above the Ottoman Empire, but we've done it, everyone. We've done it. We're higher. Serbia exists. Wait, what? Oh, Serbia's still there. Cool. Uh, another thing. I did check number nine. It's either split between Belgium. Yeah, they're ninth in the world. They have 321 score, and the Dutch, who are 12th, who have 227. So we're... There's... The secondary powers are nowhere close to becoming a great power. So that's actually very good for us. And I want to make more armies too, so... So we'll see what happens. Uh, let's take a look at this. I'm not going to get involved until... Actually, if, we, if that happens... Oh, Germany. Oh, Austria. I mean, that, we saw that one coming. If we don't want to lose prestige, then we have to get involved. So, machine parts, nice. And I'm going to wait, because we still got some time. we got, like, three-fourths of the year left. Capitalists in one of our states have called a lockout following a period of intensifying labor conflicts in the area. Workers have been informed by management that no one is welcome back to work while union sympathies still run high among the employed. Local police have expressed support for the move, citing a long series of, dis long series of disturbances at the factory, some even bordering it on sabotage. I don't want that much more socialist, as much as some people want me to turn socialist. Actually, let's take a look at the socialist party. We've not done that yet. Because we're still the royal faction, which has been leading our group the entire time. We do not want the liberal faction, because I still need to intervene and build up more factories. That's good for later on, and I really, really like full citizenship, but I hate pacifism. Oh, it's god-awful. Actually, that lowers your infamy. Oh, I didn't realize that. Actually, that might be a lot better then. But not really. Interventionism is okay. It's not great. Jingoism, of course. Radical faction. Oh, they're... Atheist, laissez-faire, free trade, pro-military, opposed to welfare, socialist faction, though. Planned economy, it's not terrible. It's not bad. Secularized, it's okay. Full citizenship, is not bad. Anti-military, it's either we go pacifism or jingoism or pro-military. Anti-military is just not good enough for me. No way, man. No. So, hey, that's unconstitutional. That's fine for me, with me. Hey, they integrated into the Tukular Empire. Tukular Empire has controlled Jugu for a long time, long enough for those within Jugu to truly consider themselves Tukular citizens. And for us of the world to consider Tukular claim to the province to be legitimate as well. Though there are still some unhappy with the development, Jugu is now considered an integral part of the uh, Tukular Empire. Great. And I think that's down here. Yeah, it is. Look at that. Awesome. That's actually really, really awesome. We need more ports, though. And we we'll get Shiwa. Ooh, they actually might be trying to form Ethiopia. Wait, are we... Oh, we're not justifying. Oh, well, maybe I should stop wasting time and justify. And make sure we get them under us before anything else bad can happen. And this is probably the last conquest we get before we can actually start colonizing like crazy. Because right now, fourth in the world for prestige. Gosh darn, that's so awesome. We need all the money that we can take, though. Uh, what, what am I looking at? And we have this. Yeah, that's not bad. Oh, crisis, yes. Oh, they have the UK, too. Ooh, the Ottoman Empire, Germany, the UK, fighting France. And Austro-Hungarians. Does anyone want to entice me? Please entice me. Mm, how's Bolivia doing? And we still have this area too here. Oh, that's a mess. That's alright. Oh, the ships actually made it. Nice. Good job, guys. If that's the case, I'm going to go ahead and increase the spending just a little bit more. Just a tiny bit more. Just so our ships can look better. And you're still in normal state. Actually, if that's the case, we've got coal. I should have done this before. Coal, build that. And it costs more for us to do this by ourselves, but I'm, I'm just going to do it anyways, whatever. We definitely need more money. Oh, and let's see. Projects. There you go. Take some money. You need some money. Take the money. Build stuff, because that's actually not too bad. Hey, we got Vilangara too. Awesome. How's the land? Let's get, grab some of that. I'm still encouraging capitals in our, in our uh, capital city. Oh, the Tickle of Destiny. In the workshops and mills of our country, the free Tukular people have made daily discoveries and advances. The advancement of science is intimately, intimately tied to the free exchange of ideas, and nowhere is exchanged freer than in the Tukular Empire. Our liberty makes us a powerhouse of technological progress, hard work, and toil. Ooh, we get prestige. Other nations sing our praise. I'm going to get more prestige, because you can't always just make more prestige. And we have inorganic chemistry. Great. It's 1889. All right, so we're getting close to... Oh, bold action rifles would be really nice to get. That's quite a bit more attack. Plus four. Naval bases. Mm. Colonial power points. That's not bad. Wow. But then again, we might not have enough range for colonizing places. Supply range. Command principle. Ooh. 
We need more local naval bases. I kind of want to focus a little bit more on industry as well. Organic chemistry with oil. Synthetic dyes. Mechanized mining is okay. High pressure stuff. The plow is not bad. What do we have over here? What do, what do we need for this? Equality? Socialist? Comes rebel? Duh, duh, duh. Big ship competitors? Hmm. Nothing super interesting, I'd say. Wood production. Oop, up, oop, up. Population growth? Oh, that's not bad. Literacy about 40%, though. Uh, we have vaccinations, nitroglycerin. Anything else? Ooh, artillery factory. Oh, uh, yeah, let's grab that one then. Let's grab this one. Why not? That's less than 5,000 points, and I'll see you in just a little bit. Okay, everyone, so we're back. I uh, apologize for that this video's gone quite a bit longer than the previous ones, but whatever. And we are literally 99% of the way there. And currently, the crisis is about to explode. So if we go to war within the next six days, we should not be required to go and do stuff here. So I'd rather not go to war with those guys. We got the justification war goal. Let's go ahead and take them out, eat more of this territory up, and now we're no longer required, because if we were to choose a side, we might get really, really bushwhacked. But if people are really bushwhacked, if they lose, it might make it easier for us to actually kill them off. But let's go ahead and get involved, even though, ooh, that's not looking good. Even though I did already raise up the level a little bit more, because we still need to make more money. Hey, an international crisis, great. And we're not involved. I love it. So we have all the European major powers killing each other. Except for, and of course America and us. We're just like, haha, can we sell guns to you? Hopefully. Oh, come on. Just accept your fate. Beautiful. Uh, let's quickly get this territory and then get on Cobra. Let's see. Oh, also, I did figure out where the Portuguese rebels are. It's in Gabu. You know what? They're down here. I'm not going to oppose this, just because we got Zin Queen Kor before, and they come down here, and they liberate Guinea-Bissau. Well, it's not bad. So if they do that, not bad. I would like to expand this factory, because actually, actually this one's really, really good to expand, probably. Because we love the coal that we got. Address the problem, and it seems altogether pleasing, therefore, that the order long and shall prevail throughout the centuries. Throughout the eras and today, a conservative member of the upper house has addressed Parliament today with a lionizing speech to the nation and his manifold glories. Excellent. Less militancy, less rebels, please. Beautiful. And this will be the last little port of uh, the episode for us. Oh, look at that Shiva. Let's show the wars. So, 800 versus 900. Wow. Bulgarian freedom. I kind of hope the Bulgarians do get free. That does weaken the Ottoman Empire quite a bit. That'd be pretty good for us. But hey, we'll see what happens. If the French lose, and we can still beat up the French, then, and if they have a lot of turmoil. This isn't a great war, by the way. Because it's, it has not been discovered yet, which is fine, but it'd be better if it was actually a great war. Because this is literally just pretty much World War One then. Because America's not intervening yet. Oh, we got some iron muzzle artillery. And obviously we're a great power, we're not really intervening as well. Synthetic dyes would be pretty good as well. Ooh, I want fuel. semi automization Machine tools. Yeah. A lot of discoveries could happen. How about we get some freedom trade? It's so it's so quick to get that. Oh, that's how we get cement factories. Mr. Mocha Lover. Mr. Mocha Lover, what are you doing in your game? I have no idea, obviously. I have no idea. We could really use cement factories. Even though, then again, I mean, our tariffs are like 5%. That's like nothing. So, if I have to, I will raise tariffs because it's not. Oh my god, what's costing us so much? It's not industrial subsidies. The military is costing us somewhat, but. Oh my goodness. Now let's double check Ooh, our national spirits because our focus is. Four. Ninety-four. Hundred percent. I mean, we still got capitalists here. Look at this. Let's see where are they? Capitalists. Point one percent. We got some capitalists. Sixty percent. Thirty-six percent. Fifty-two. So really not too bad. Actually, do we have cap guys down here? We should probably put some guys down here too. That'd be pretty good to do as well. I hope we don't need to conquer everyone here to get this finished. Tensions to speak great. I guess I gave the UK military access. Oh, are they done? Oh, they're done. I guess it was probably a white piece then, because I don't see Bulgaria, so... Oh, that's disappointing. I was hoping for a lot more bloodshed. Hey, that's done. Nice. <gasps> oh, as soon as it's 1890. Oh my goodness, I'm glad I paused. Oh my gosh, yes. Yes, a thousand times yes. Yes, yes, yes. Take every single colonial coastal port place we can grab. Um, 
We probably gotta grab this one. Zanzibar. Finish off Zanzibar. Can we get to Kenya? Ooh. We don't have that many points though left. Equatorial Guinea. Ooh, we can't do that one because life rating is pretty bad down there. Yeah, if we could grab this stuff, that'd be great. That would look so much better. Can we come up here? We cannot either. Um, anywhere else? I'm glad. I, I'm really glad I paused right there. Ooh, reaction is nice. Ooh, keep up the naval port there. We might as well. Uh, I'd love to get this, but I don't think we can really afford that. And we can't come over here either because it's just we don't have enough range. Kind of sad, but whatever. Wow. The French have been busy. And I did tap over to see what the English were doing. They can form the Roger they wanted to, but... I guess not. Might as well, right? Mm. Regions. Actually, hold on. There's a colonial button here, too. There it is. Oh, we can prevent other people from coming here, too. That... Oh, we only have so much score... I would love to do this, but we can't even touch our area around here. What do they have down here? Uh, they got grain and cattle. Is that it? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Even if they get this, it won't be too bad for us. We can hopefully maybe limit the spread. Ooh, that's tropical. That's... Oh, oh we gotta get rubber. We, I've gotta get rubber. I like tropical wood. Wood is good. Wood is very good. Rubber is very, very good, too. Ooh, actually, just come back over here. So we can't get Cameroon yet, because we are still busy with it. The Congo? Oh, that's so much. Oh my gosh. Oh, we should read more points. Hey, but if 30% 30, 30 of our population could read. Beautiful. Alright, next up. It's not bad. I could use a little bit more money. Furniture, loans, permanent prestige. It's not bad. I like all this stuff. I kind of want a little bit more taxation or administrative efficiency. I think I'll probably, I'll probably go with this. It's pretty cheap. But I think that's where we're going to leave today's episode. Tomorrow we will begin probably going to war with someone else. Ethiopia, or at least under us, is looking pretty darn decent. But regardless, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. What the heck happened over here? Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link if you haven't already. And I'll see you tomorrow when we will continue exploring, creating, and doing pretty darn well in Victoria 2. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.